Hi students, today we are going to do an eye. To draw this eye, we require one dark pencil, 4B or 6B you can use. And first you draw shape of the eye like this. And next, draw eyeball. When you're drawing eyeball, you have to check how much white space we have to leave here, here, here. And this is the black ball and this is the white area of the eye and here one more black spot we have to do after drawing this above this eye I'm going to draw one step of this layer of skin we are down also drawing it the this down portion I'm drawing uh, surroundings of this eye the skin part and here eyebrow This way, I did the sketch outline of this. The sketching part is done. After sketching this, uh, do some details in I. Now, I am going to shade with the Eyeball, I am going to start this eyeball first. When you are drawing eye, you have to focus on the spacing very very carefully. Here to here, how much space we left. Here to here, how much space we left. And this how much space we left. This all spacing must be perfect. And this way, here, white lighting. Now, this portion I'm going to shade now. this way and here also we have to Share darkly. And this ever portion. To fill dark tone. leave this lighting part
without uh, white spots or white gaps we have to fill neatly this dark shade after filling it gradually reduce the darkness here little medium tone I did and from here little light tone I am doing and here also middle tone it's a dark tone middle tone and light tone like uh, the tones we have to observe very very carefully Here also little medium tone I'm doing after this here I'm drawing few lines like this angle and here little dark around doing it. After making this, now I am going to do this very very dark remember children you have to do dark tones with a big number like 8b or 10b if you have like this kind of uh, this kind of areas you have to use 8b or 10b to make it darker this way this eyeball we have done almost after doing this eyeball here you can see how it is uh, this, like thin thin lightings are looking in this part and here bright lighting uh, next I am doing this eye part using very very dark shade you have to observe how I am using strokes when I am doing it the tonal different levels of tones Here you have to make shade like this. This part of the eye, then it looks little inner feel of the eye.
this way the inside part of the eye after you have done now the down part I am doing Yeah, this kind of stroke I'm doing. Like this way. Yeah, the lighting. Yeah, you have to have this crisscross lines I'm using, making it darker. And here also I'm making it darker. Now this part. This every part of the eye is very very carefully we have to Shade is very important to develop the observation. Observation is very very important to do perfectly. And do with more patience. Then only you will get the perfect result. This kind of study will help you to make portrait perfectly and neatly. So this kind of practice you have to do always. Like one one part of the face like eyes ones, nose ones individually if you practice then you will understand how to do detailed work. Very minute places also we have to check even thin or any dark shades are there we have to follow that carefully in doing eye after that now this portion I'm going to do here again 
I am starting with the little dark tone. And story here. Showing the difference. Here I am leaving lighting in the middle. And down of this lighting, here also we have to leave some lighting. This kind of separation shows the very like minute and thin folds on the skin like this Here, the shadow, Here also some folds of the skin. This way, every part of the eye, very very carefully we have to shade with proper and perfect levels of the tones. Then only the naturality comes in your drawing Here the skin part down of the eye.
the skin part after doing this some light shades you have to give Here you can observe this portion is a little medium tone and this is the brighter tone and here this is the darker tone like every small differences we have to catch and have to do bar very very perfectly this way we have done the what next we are doing going to do the above part of the eye first now i am going to do the here this layer of the skin let's make here a little darker After here you increase the darkness After here gradually reduce the darkness like this And here this part we have to leave like lighting like this. Okay. Here lighting we left, here lighting, here lighting. Like this way we have to leave the lighting part. After doing this, here above this eyebrow portion I am going to do. Before doing eyebrow, we have to fill this gap between the eye and eyebrow.
Just do little darker. And here you feel a little darker. and here front side also this way we have to stop so doing this here also some dark shades kind of very thin strokes also thin and light strokes also very very important and shading this way we have to shade this down of the eyebrow after here the shade we have to continue lightly very very lightly like this that's it after doing this we have to do eyebrow just here brightness I'm reducing little bit now I'm going to do eyebrow yes I'm doing some medium shade in this cow angle like this this way after now I'm making some darker strokes in middle like this
this way we have to do the realistic high with proper and perfect details so that we will get the portrait features if you practice this kind of way uh, like individual practice studying nose lips eyes individually ears all this part of the face if you practice individually a perfection comes automatically in your artworks this way we have to do now i am making some shades here slightly so i use normal a4 size paper students if you use executive bond paper or bucking ford paper like there are types of papers like uh, butter paper or buff card different types of papers are there to show more effective way when you are shading if paper is like with very thin textured then you can do shading very very nicely and detail shading also this way you have to do the eye shading you can give some thin thin strokes from top of the eye like this sorry some pattern on the eye okay so this way you also try this kind of eyes in different angles as well as other parts of the face then it will help you to do portraits very very neatly okay students bye